So I ask my Discord for their Inazuma 11 Victory Road of Heroes hopes. And as you can see down there, we're going to be taking a look at all of them. And if you want to be a part of more videos like this, then make sure you go and join the Discord, link in the description. But without further ado, let's take a look at and discuss your Victory Road of Hero hopes. So first up, I just want Fran slash Flora to be in. That's it. That's all I care about. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Look, I think everyone's going to have that one player they desperately want to be in the game. Mine's, like, I, I, will, I think Nelly's going to be in it regardless. But I would love to be able, obviously, be able to use Nelly. Desperately. Really do. Also, I really want, like, I don't know, Nev Eren to be in the game. I think Nev Eren would be sick. Uh, I just hope there isn't lag while using his Atsus. Yeah, I mean, that I can also kind of get behind. I mean, I hope the game runs well. Like, I hope it's just a generally well-made game. That'd be quite nice. Reverse positioning to be good, but not meta-centric. I want to play a keeper as a keeper, got that, but I also like seeing fun reverse position players. Also, return of tactics, and ideally a way to use the go game without being too broken. Now, I kind of completely agree, agree with this. I think the, Gal the way Galaxy did Miximax was really fun and interesting, where it made it more of a permanent thing that always had some kind of boost, but the boost wasn't too high. And I kind of agree with reverse positioning. I love reverse positioning, personally. I think it's such a fun mechanic. I really want to make a video about it, like a full video about it at some point. And I really, really love the mechanic. But at the same time, I don't like anything being too meta-focused to the point where nothing else even gets a shot at being, like, usable. And so I would quite like to see being able to use some players in reverse position positions, but it not being a necessity and not being the only way to be good at the game. Right, Zikri or AK, I'm assuming has, like, 15 different hopes. So here we go, hope one. What I really hope is that everyone is viable to use because all in Zoom 11 games are unbalanced due to uncustomized... Oh my god, he has a whole list of things. Uh, the reason for this is it'll increase online play enjoyment. Yeah, exactly. I think every player should be viable. Every, you should be able to make every player viable. I think that the way they do freedom is quite good sometimes in, with, with like dealing with this and dealing with balancing. But you definitely want to make sure that you know every single player in their own way is viable by not making any one thing too overpowered. And hopefully they do that. Hopefully they pull that off. Uh, they keep the TP of players high. Sure. That's, that, that's random, but sure. Um... For the game to be fun to play rather than... My camera is having a moment. Uh, for the game to be fun to play rather than Galaxy's box lock stam and auto pass deals. Yeah, I think Galaxy maybe is too many mechanics that are a bit... Uh, like, just not very fun and a bit cheesable. And I do hope they do get rid of that. Putting it out to be good. That would be amazing. That's the thing that always holds back fan games. It's just AI being good. You always try and make a game as hard as possible. You always make a fan game as difficult as possible. Give them the hardest moves and then they don't use them. And it's like, well, okay. They put Cro um, Chronicle Mode in the post game. I don't think they'll do this. I think I'll have Chronicle Mode from the beginning. But I, what I also think they'll do is have part... I think they've also confirmed that it's going to be like locked behind achievements. And so you will have to beat the game to fully unlock Chronicle Mode. But I think Chronicle Mode in general will be like there the entire time. It'll just be a different thing on the menu. Kind of like uh, Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury in the way they'll be on the menus, my guess. Uh, use Go 1 or Go 2 stack. I mean, sure. I, I don't I don't know anything about stat or stab calculations. But sure, I agree with you, Zikri or AK. Um, hope the game is a fun meta. Don't expect to be competitive. I'm also talking about post-game and game content. Yeah, I agree. We need variety. We need, we need to, uh, you know, like, to be able to actually use whoever you want to use. We don't want to just use Xanark and Goal 15 times. We want to make sure we're using fun players. The players we like. That should always be the, the main thing within Zoom 11. It should be the players we like that we can use to make good teams. And I think every single competitive game has this problem, but I hope they try and fix it in some way. Decent scouting, so we don't have to spend um, 2,000 hours to get one player. Completely agree with this. Also, give Todd a gun. Sure. <laughs> um, completely agree with decent scouting. What we need, for sure, is just a good scouting method that allows you to quickly get characters. And I think that Chronicle Mode will kind of answer that, because I'm, I think Chronicle Mode, to be fair, I think will be too easy. I think it will just be a case of press the button, get the player. Hope not. Hope it's a bit more interesting than that. But I think that's the main thing with scouting. I made a whole video about scouting. But I think the main thing with scouting is trying to get a right balance between making every player fun to get, but also making it not too tedious to get. Making so there's actual, like, a sense of achievement when you get a player, but at the same time, you know, it's... You're not spending 15 hours grinding the same match to get one random drop. And finding that balance will be difficult, but I'm hoping they can pull it off. Have the option in-game to pick any opening theme to play in a match. Give it a bit of an anime vibe. 
Whoa. Okay, I kind of like that idea. Just be able to randomly blast, like, stand up, stand up if you love football in the middle of a match. Yeah, I kind of, that's kind of based. That's actually kind of really based. I don't know how they pull that off. Like a special uh, anime opening button, but I think that'd be really fun. I just want the story mode to be good. I'm more interested in the new story and characters. The point the story is bad, and they're pretty much disappointed. I mean, story in Azuma 11. I mean, yeah, exactly. I, I think in Azuma 11 always has questionable stories, but I guess it depends what you find is good. Uh, like, if you think, I think it'll be on the same level as all the other in Azuma 11 stories. And if you see that is good, then who knows? I guess we'll see. I think it's a given but the quality and the go quality of life changes duels being numerical or replaced entirely they're being arranged rather than an exact number but not whatever was going on in og skipple moves are tedious games the list goes on i'm always in favor of quality of life skipple moves for me are huge uh like i think one quality of life feature we desperately need is the ability to and this is such a minor detail but the ability to forfeit in a match to me especially in competition room matches you die. Like, if you lose, like, if you're losing 5-0 at the end of the first half, or it's just a match you accidentally click on, not being able to just immediately get out of that match, to me, is really dumb. Give me a forfeit button. I want to be a pussy. A few gimmick stadiums. One of the fun parts of Go 1 with a gimmick stadiums. So that's a cool idea, actually. I do quite like the idea of gimmick stadiums. Just please make a few non-gimmick. Yeah. I think there's always a good, like, good healthy balance there. And I think it depends on, I think that's a good way to make matches difficult, actually. For instance, look at Galaxy, where the bloody plant planet is stupid and dumb because you can't do a single pass to save your life. So yeah, I agree. I think gimmick stadiums would be a fun addition, if not slightly infuriating, but I guess that's kind of the point. Please add the funny non-human characters. Let me play as a dinosaur or a hurricane. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. We want, I want to be able to play as a bloody paper towel. Honestly, I think that'd be fantastic. No, I agree. Instagram 11 is really like cool with fun characters. Like, it, it's got some really interesting, funny characters, and I love being able to play as them. I think there's a good mix between well-designed characters and just, like, Todd and also a dinosaur. So, yeah, keep the dinosaur. I hope they just keep the majority of players who have been in the game, honestly. Striker's stat system. That's an interesting choice. I disagree because I think Striker's stat system makes it maybe a bit easy to get completely, absolutely overpowered characters if you just level everything up to S. But, I mean, it's an interesting idea. I haven't seen this one before. Away kits would be cool. Agreed. I would love to see the ability to, to get multiple kits for teams. And able to have a home kit, away kit. You know, in this case of your kits clashing or whatever. I think that would be really fun. Uh, this guy is in the game. It's just a picture of Kirby. Agreed. Dynamic stats or something. This would be for post-game. All random play and characters to be able to become good players instead of being pushed to the side. Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree with that. Maybe not in the form of dynamic stats. But maybe in the form of... Just being of just players being more balanced in general and freedom meaning that you can uh, like there being more freedom depending on how bad a player is I think every I mean you don't want to just say every player is the same stat total and um, when you include freedom But I think that'd be a fun way of doing things. Yeah, no, I think that'd be nice You'll have, have every player have the same stat total at the end of the day if you include freedom I know it kind of makes but then I guess you know the players who have more natural talent would ha just have bigger natural stats and then you, they would just have less freedom. Stuff like that. And to add on to this, to let us design our own kits. This would be sick. Kit customization would be so much fun. And would be so cool. And I'd be absolutely down for that. Yes. I think it would be really cool to be able to just design a massive penis on their shirt. I love it. A character creator would be nice. Yeah. Cool. I can agree with that. Make your own custom in Azuma 11 character. I think that would be really fun. Um, obviously, the worry with that is be able, you'd like Fire Emblem style, be able to make a character that's way too broken. But hopefully, there'd be a nice balance for that. Who am I kidding? It's in Zoomer 11. Let's just give them all the best moves and destroy everyone with three times spirit big moves. And I hope that the game manages to get more people interested in the Zoomer franchise as a whole. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think it would be really, really nice to just for this game to have some kind of mainstream appeal. Even if that means putting bloody TikToks into it. I will do, I will like take whatever it takes for this game to blow up. Even if it is literally making it so the main character is on TikTok the whole time. Also the return of Nev Evan. Oh my god, someone else agrees. Bring back Nev Evan. Uh, Nev Aaron? Nev Aaron. Shoes out tactics make a comeback would be nice and not and some yeah no I agree with that I think it'd be cool to have some kind the thing is how do you balance I never used a corner special tactic but no I think it would be cool to have I mean too fair 
a kind of thing related to this. It'd be cool to have corner special moves instead of tactics. Like corner special moves, free kick moves, penalty moves. I'd love to see that. Penalties in the Zoom 11 are dumb because of the power thing. But I think special moves might be a nice little addition to that. I don't know. We'll see. I hope Chronicle Mode isn't just strikers again, at least when it comes to recruiting. Completely, completely, completely agree with this. I want Chronicle Mode to be something more, but I don't think it will be. Uh, I don't know what Chronicle Mode will be. I don't even know if Chronicle Mode will be, like, have any kind of single player. I don't know if it'll just be multiplayer online. I, I think it could literally just be multiplayer online, in which case I'd be very disappointed. So, fingers crossed it's something a bit more. But we'll see. I hope characters that receive random Izatsu techniques like Ghost Strikers 13 did actually make sense on that character. An example like why they give Frostical Sidewinder an excellent rest some random protocol Omega players also give Man of Wanley more moves than Great Wall. Sure, okay. I mean, this guy's obviously a pretty hardcore Wanley fan, which I appreciate. But yeah, I think giving random Izatsu techniques... I mean, it, every, every player obviously needs to have four Izatsu techniques, and so it's going to be quite difficult to come up with four that fit that player and fit that player's theme. So, I guess as long as it makes some form of sense, I get you. I don't, think that, I don't think they should always have, when choosing his Atsu techniques, they should always have gameplay in mind. I think they should have theming more in mind for that kind of stuff. And then gameplay just kind of be like an accident because of that. Because you have customizable moves. So, who gives a, like, a crap if bloody Dodge has, you know, he doesn't need to have the strongest move ever when Sonic Shop is his theming more. You know what I mean? Uh, giving Wanley more moves? Sure. It's Wanley, I guess. Oh, we have, we have quite a few here. Quite a few. Okay. Um, a good online system, possibly clubs like Mario Strikers. Yes, agreed. Give me an Inazuma 11 Premier League. Give me an Inazuma 11 uh, World Cup tournament. Give me stuff like that integrated into the game. Yes, please. All main characters either at launch or through DLC. I think that'll be a case either way, but it would be cool to be fair to be able to get some main characters in the main story mode instead of in Chronicle mode. Would be interesting. New fun scout characters as well as a return of um, loved scout players such as Conwell. I love how Conwell's scene is like this loved scout player. I love it. Yeah, no, I agree. We need to make sure that... I want that to make them to make sure that scouts are still a massive part of the game and that there are still tons of random, fun, interesting scouts. English release. Pray. Fun gameplay, so there's a reason to um, back to it. Yeah, I mean, it's, hopefully the game's fun. Uh, the game is like Strikers where only play certain players can use certain moves. I think it won't be. I think it'll be like a normal game, and fingers crossed. But we'll see. Also, regarding matter, get rid of big moves and spirit big moves. Yes, absolutely. Get rid of them. Send them out there. Fully customizable players would be... Re Again, I think it kind of links to this idea of... Um, of what's it called? The Keeping every player have the same stat total, but freedom in that is different. So that there's, you know, different players with different level. Like, every player can be the same level of good. It's just how you build those players is more important. And then that way you can choose your um, team based more on designs. But then I guess that might lead to meta of its own. I, I don't know. I'd love for formations to be a bigger thing. I think that's my little hope. I would love for tactics to be more of a thing. Have gimmicks such as team tactics, mix and match, make them balanced. Yeah, I mean, it'd be cool for that to be balanced. I, I don't, who knows. Do I care about playing someone else playing legacy mode? Completely agreed. Hopefully the story's good. I mean, I guess if the story's not good, we'll never know because it'll probably never come out in English, L. So we'll see. Online tournaments. Would, again, would be amazing. Would love to see kind of real-world type tournaments made in Zoom 11. Kit Creator, agreed. Stadium Creator, agreed. Character Customizer, agreed. A lot of these we've already talked about, so I'm just, I'm just like, firing over them. A use for 11 licenses? Kind of like Amiibo would be pretty fun, like the Amiibo cards. But I don't want to get paid to win, you know what I mean? Lots of TXM content. Hey, hey, Bro, I just hope the game comes out at this point. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. And finally, the final hope... I'd love to see any form of replayability when you hit max level. If this game still works at levels like the OG game, I want to be able to play online or do, like, max level competition route teams, just so there is still a reason to play once you have a team you like. Yeah, no, I completely agreed. I think it'd be really fun to, to do online and make online an actual big thing so the game is always replayable. But we'll see. I mean, fingers crossed. I, I don't know how they're going to handle the online. I really, really hope they handle it well with some, some like, kind of interesting events going on, kind of like Premier League. Um, even just stuff like Ultimate Team in FIFA is, at the very least, something to keep coming back to. And so, fingers crossed we get something like that. But, what are your guys' in Azuma 11 Victory Road of Heroes hopes? Let me know down below. And if I get enough of them, maybe I'll make another video with the YouTube comments. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!